Coming to you live from the Mayweather Boxing Club. And guess what? I'm Mayweather. You got fighters that may be faster than me. You got fighters that may hit harder than me. You got fighters that's very athletic. But you don't have no fighter that can make adjustments like me. I always had a dream. And my dream was to be the best. No matter what happens, when it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. But one thing about me, I've never overlooked anyone. Some guys get some guys game plan. We gonna we gonna rush him. Make down. We gonna rush him. Okay. What's your second game plan? That's plan A. What's plan B? Pacquiao, he can set the trap for other fighters, but you can't set the trap for Floyd Mayweather because you got to have plan A. You have to have plan, have plan B. And after plan, if you don't have a plan B, then you go to plan C. I've never beat a fighter with my A game. Every, every other fighter fight for certain things. Everybody fight for what they fight for. My thing is this. I keep my eyes on the prize. I never focus on things outside the ring. My focus is the guy that's in front of me. You get to where you're trying to get to by staying focused, staying on a parallel path. You can never overlook anyone. In this camp, did I push myself? Absolutely. Every fight played a major key. All 48 fights played a major key. It's not just the, it's not just the intelligence. It's the sharp mind. It's the good chin. It's the tremendous heart. I never overlooked no opponent. I trained for every fighter the same way. I pushed myself. I believe in my skills and I believe in my talent. And I've been in there with the best. And the results is always the same. It just feels like it's just routine. You know, this is a normal routine. I've been here before, I met with all you guys before, and the results was the same before. Um, not really. You know, I'm just, it's just a normal day for me. It's a regular day. Every every fight has been just another day for me. I think when I was younger, I was a lot more anxious, you know. Um, but I just think with time as you as you grow, because you can no longer grow physical, but as I grow mentally, I just, my thought process is just, it'll get here when it get here. So when it's all said and done, to be in the sport of boxing, and make somewhere upwards of 800 million. My team done their job. I was never, I never focused on things on the outside. I never put nothing before I put boxing. This always came first. At 4.30 in the morning. When my opponent is sleeping, I'm working. And when he's up working at two o'clock or three o'clock, I'm working. I don't want to leave nothing in the sport to say I wasn't the best. So no matter what the writers say, I don't read it no way. It's not my focus. I don't go, I don't watch my fights. I don't have to. If, and if I do go back and watch it, I criticize myself and say, you know what? I could have got better in that department. I only can get better. And I'm still learning in the sport. No fighter in history has been in more bigger fights than me. No fighter in history has beaten more champions than I beat. But is it over? Absolutely not. Today, I'm going to push myself. I'm, all, I'm always going places 
mentally, no other fighter can go. You know why? Because they're focused on other things that's not important. Um, to become to become great, you have to follow you have to follow greatness. But to become a um, it's like to become a great leader, you have to be a great follower. And um, to be successful, you got you got to want to follow success. And I want every fighter to just stay focused, stay on the parallel path. You know, I got people around me that, you know, with master degrees, and you got to have brains that want to have brains around you. It takes brains that want to have brains surround you. You just got to surround yourself with smart people. Did I finish school? Absolutely not. Because I know what I wanted. I left school to put my mother in a better position and take care of my family. Was it worth it? Absolutely, because I knew school was gonna always be there. But this opportunity, the opportunity that I had only come once in a lifetime. And I'm surrounded with smart people. That's where, that's why I'm where I'm at in my career. And the only thing I can do is just, you know, keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best and try to stay positive. Can't nothing break me. I'm still gonna be strong.